So I thought, well, why don't we have a women's organization? Because at that time, too, the status of women was starting to rise up, too. Mm -hmm. So that was really my way of getting into the leadership of CUPE. I was working on the women's, women's issues. And um, so we formed a women's committee that year when I was first vice president. And uh, the reason, for, and the way we made it work was that we, we, are, we got in touch with all of the locals and we put on these workshops for, to teach them parliamentary procedure. So I uh, made it an issue that these women had to be taught. So we had, and we would only let the women come to the workshops, no men allowed at all. We held them in Vancouver for a long time and then we tried to disperse them a bit. But the first courses that we gave were in Vancouver. And it was wonderful to get to know those women and to get them working. And then they really got involved in their women's committee. I stayed president for a number of years and then I stepped back and let some of the others take over. And they were, they were great. Wonderful women came out of there. We had Joy Leach, mayor of Nanaimo. Mm -hmm. um, some of the people got into government. Rosemary Brown, different people. You know, it's amazing how, how things reached out from there. Mm -hmm. 